Hi, it's Susan. Welcome back to my channel. A lot of you have been asking for a video on how to do a reverse image search. So finally, here it is. There are a couple reasons maybe that you might want to do that. Uh, maybe you just want to learn more about the image. You've had it in your files for a while and you want to know who the artist is or who the photographer was or who the subject was. But most of the time we want to do a reverse image search because we want to make sure that the image is okay for us to use in our artwork that we are going to sell. In other words, we want to make sure it is free from copyright restrictions. So there are a couple ways you can do that. You can do it with Google, and I will show you how to do that. And you can do it with a website called TinEye, which is my favorite one to do it. And as always, I will put the links down in the description below. But this is what you're going to see when you go to TinEye. It's a very simple user interface. And if you know where an image is somewhere online, like maybe you saw it in somebody's blog, you can just copy the URL and paste it right in here. But for me, usually what happens is that I messed up in my bookkeeping and I have to come over to my saved images and decide um, you know, I, that I need to do the research to, to check on something. So all you have to do is grab your image and you drag it right over here. And then TinEye is going to go out and search for that image and tell you where they find it. Now this is not one of those things that you're going to do and get instant results every single time. And you're not always going to get answers every single time. Doing copyright research is a very labor intensive job which is why there are people that that's their only job to do is just to track down the trail of these images and you know my, my saying all the time is just because you saw it on Pinterest doesn't mean that it's okay for you to use so you have to decide you know how much how attached are you to the image if you don't get an, an answer right away that you like how attached are you to that image that you want to use it in your work or maybe you just want to put it aside and save it for one of those things you'll research more fully when you have more time that's what happens to me is I'll be in the middle of the project I'll look in my files I'll find an image that I love that I think is going to be perfect for the project and then I realized that I goofed up and I did not put any keywords on it I didn't I don't have any records of it and so I can't use it and feel good about using it without doing the research. So I just have a folder that is just to be researched and sometimes when I'm sitting there watching TV I'll just start researching these things so that I can confirm whether or not they're okay for me to use. So here's the image that I had copied over. I get 198 results and I just start paging down here. This one doesn't tell me anything. This one doesn't tell me anything. This was on somebody's blog, a French Pinterest. Ah, but here I see it's on a government site, so that's good. That's one of our, our sites that we go to in the um, how to find you know images that you can use. So if you don't click on here, that's just going to take you to the main website, and you're going to have to search again for the image. But right below it, it says item number, and if you click on that, there you go. You've got the great Arm & Hammer brand soda from Church & Company in New York. What does it tell us about it? It was uh, different subject headings here, lithographs, color lithographs. And where's that thing that we want? Down here on the rights advisory, it says, no known restrictions on publication, no renewal in the copyright office. So that means, as far as I'm concerned, this one is good for me to use. And remember, when you're over here on this government site, you can choose the different sizes to download. But this one would be good to go. So thank you, Tinai. That made that confirmation very nice and easy. So let's look up something else. What else have I got over here? Um, let's look up this Ferris wheel. Okay, so we drag the image over. Who doesn't love a Ferris wheel? 49 results. I like going to Tinai first because it's not as many crazy results as there are in Google Images, but sometimes you have to go to Google Images. So none of these sites right here, Pinterest, someone's website, you know, you can, you can go to their websites and see they might have more information about the copyright there, but here's what gets me excited. I see it was on the graphics ferry. We all know and love, or at least most of us know, and if you know her, you love the graphics ferry because she has a wonderful, wonderful repository of images for you to use in your art that are okay for you to go ahead and resell. And so once I see that it was on the graphics ferry, it's like, okay, I'm fine. I can use that one. Let's do it again, right? So what happens? We come over here with this picture. 
and I put the picture in and I get 22 results so far nothing here nothing here but look at here it's at Flickr we've been to Flickr again with the finding images so I come over here and I click on that it's a girl on a swing isn't she adorable oh I just love her just love her and if I come over here it's from the State Library of New South Wales no known copyright restrictions so I'm good to go on that one all right so let's see what else I have I tried to set things up so I had a variety how good did I do in my setup so this one we're gonna pull this over this is a beautiful image we all love our botanicals right Tinnitus thinking it's thinking uh oh it's got nothing absolutely nothing I've got a name here so I can do a couple things because I have the name in the file I could go look for that or let's go over to Google and see what Google does now you don't want the main Google page you want to come over here to images you click on images and just like Tinai you could either put in the URL or you can drag and drop and it's going to search for you by image alright so you've got something on Etsy that's just looking for botanical art it's not looking for the same exactly the same thing it's looking for the name but this one here tells me Anita Barley home on Facebook if I go over here and I visit it's going to take me to her Facebook page if she has a Facebook page she is probably a um, an artist of nowadays not from the past and what do you know here we have Orchid Festival watercolor 2015 I sure can't use that image because that still belongs to her okay let's do one more just so you feel like you have a handle on it so I'm over here at Tinai I've got my image let's pull our beautiful little gypsy girl over here and I get nine results on Tinai and these look like they're on blog posts, they're on Zazzle. I don't trust that any of these are okay for me to use. So I'm going to do the same thing, but I'm going to do it over here in Google. Whoops, I almost did it. What I told you not to do, I forgot to go over to images. Go over to images. And you're going to just drag it in here. And you're going to see what Mr. Google has to say about it and okay it's on Pinterest we're gonna ignore that but look at here we go graphics fairy so I feel okay using this because graphics fairy said it was okay to use it and just because graphics fairy is so good let's just come over here and you can see vintage images 21 bohemian lady images is one of the things that she had one of the uh, posts that she has here so that's how you do a reverse image search and like I said it is not always an easy answer it's not something that's going to come up instantly you might end up with 50 pages of search results on Google and half of them are Etsy and the other half are eBay you're gonna to have to decide as I said whether it's worth it to you to put the time in to keep searching and searching sometimes we just get super attached to an image and we want to know more so one more thing for you most of you have probably already done your searching for images on Google but just in case you haven't to make sure that you're having the best chance of finding some copyright free images here's what you're gonna do you're on your main Google page once again you're going to go over here to images and let's look for a gypsy girl again and we're gonna come over here to tools because you're gonna get all these images that are not necessarily going to be something you can use but if you click on tools you have the option to choose usage rights you click on that you want reuse with modification now suddenly you're getting things that are going to be okay for you to use you can pick on this one here it's from the Commons and Wikimedia you can pick on this one's on Pickroll remember we went to Pickroll we have this one over here is on Pixabay so if you haven't done this already on Google it's just uh, the same thing like I said go to images pick tools and make sure you choose labeled for reuse with modification 
If you haven't already checked out my new website, I will put a link to it down in the comments below where you can also sign up for my newsletter and that will let you know when my digi kits and digital downloads are up and running over on Etsy. I've had a little bit of trouble getting things rolling on that, but it should be up real soon. Thank you so much to everybody who has been asking me about it and been patient about it. I really appreciate all your support. You go off and make some great art and let's talk about it down in the community or in the comments. If you have any questions, please let me know and I will do my best to help you find that terrific image that you are looking for to use on your projects. Have a great day. Bye for now.